Are you ready for another thrilling news about the Kansas City Chiefs? I hope so. So here we go. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and leave your comment below saying, Let's go Kansas City Chiefs. Kansas City Chiefs superstar quarterback, Patrick Mahomes, expressed excitement on Saturday about the signing of free agent wide receiver Marquise Hollywood Brown. During an appearance on ESPN SportsCenter on Saturday morning, Mahomes discussed what Brown brings to the table and mentioned the Chiefs' pursuit of winning their third consecutive Super Bowl. He brings a lot of dynamic playmaking ability, and I think just being able to add a guy like that who's ready to come in and work and hungry for our future and we're trying to keep that going. Let's win the soccer championship here with the women's soccer team, Kansas City Current from NWSL. And then let's try to get back to that Super Bowl again. According to ESPN's Adam Schefter, Brown signed a one-year contract worth up to $11 million with the Chiefs this week, ending his two-year tenure with the Arizona Cardinals. For most of Mahomes' six years as the starting quarterback, the Chiefs have had one of the most explosive and dynamic offenses in the NFL, but that wasn't the case for much of 2023. Kansas City ranked as a pedestrian 15th in offense, averaging 21.8 points per game, and relied heavily on an elite defense that ranked second in the league, allowing just 17.3 points per contest. The lack of reliable weapons around Mahomes was perhaps the biggest reason why the Chiefs' offense sputtered for long stretches. Future Hall of Fame tight end Travis Kelsey was the Chiefs' top receiver, with 93 receptions for 984 yards and 5 touchdowns, but it was a bit of a down year for him, as he fell short of 1,000 yards for the first time in each of the previous seven seasons. Second-round rookie pick Rassie Rice also emerged as the year progressed, hauling in 79 catches for 938 yards and 7 scores as Mahomes' top target among wideouts. No other team's running back had more than 28 receptions, 460 yards, or three touchdowns. The offense rose to the occasion during the playoffs and did enough to defeat the San Francisco 49ers 25-22 in Super Bowl overtime, but improvements were still clearly needed on that side of the ball. Brown may instantly become the fastest and most electrifying player on the roster, and he has also had some prior success in the NFL. The Oklahoma standout first-round pick in 2019 spent his first three seasons with the Baltimore Ravens, scoring a total of 22 touchdowns and recording 91 receptions for 1,008 yards in 2021. Brown was traded to Arizona before the 2022 season, but he didn't have the same success he had in Baltimore. He recorded 67 receptions for 709 yards and three touchdowns in 2022, followed by 51 receptions for 574 yards and four scores last season. Part of the reason for his shortcomings may have been quarterback Kyler Murray missing significant time due to injury in both seasons. In Mahomes, Brown will have one of the greatest quarterbacks in NFL history throwing him the ball, and he should represent a significant upgrade over Marquez Valdez-Gantling, who saw significant playing time as an outside receiver in Kansas City last season. So, Kansas City Chiefs fans, what did you think of today's video? Leave your opinion in the comments and don't forget to like the video subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any updates. Today, I bring you another incredible piece of news, dear Kansas City Chiefs fan. Stay tuned in the video so you don't miss any important updates. Right now, go ahead and like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, hit the notification bell, and comment down below. Go Kansas City Chiefs! In the past two weeks, the atmosphere has been charged with anticipation and anxiety regarding a potential tag-and-trade involving the talented cornerback Ljarius Sneed of the Kansas City Chiefs. Here we are, entering the third day of the new league year, and Sneed remains anchored to the franchise in Kansas City. Although several teams have emerged as potential suitors, the Chiefs have yet to finalize a trade. What exactly is hindering this long-awaited outcome? All parties are ready to negotiate, but the complication lies in securing a long-term contract extension and a last-minute change in stance, challenges currently being faced. Teams are at a standstill awaiting a potential trade for Sneed, yet the slowdown isn't precisely on the Chiefs' side. According to Stephen Holder, a reporter for ESPN's Colts NFL Nation, the primary obstacle to a potential deal isn't the lack of interested parties or adequate compensation, 
but rather the agreement among teams regarding the terms of a long-term contract extension for Sneed. Josh Quipo and Kyle Dedominicantanio from A to Z Sports projected that Sneed could receive a four-year contract worth $64.0 million in free agency, but it seems that amount won't suffice to retain him. The recent four-year, $76 million contract of Jalen Johnson with the Chicago Bears has set a new standard. Teams are hesitant to invest around $20 million per year in Sneed, even after his impressive 2023 NFL season. This is the main obstacle in an impending trade, especially considering that finances around the NFL are rapidly dwindling during free agency. Although the Chiefs are open to the possibility of trading Sneed, there's a chance he may remain in Kansas City. The team has other objectives in free agency, such as bolstering positions like running back, offensive line, and edge rusher with veterans. The $19.8 million franchise tag value assigned to Sneed could hinder these moves. However, Sneed expressed his desire to stay with the Chiefs during a charity event in Kansas City last Tuesday. He wants to be part of the team's journey toward success. I'm praying every day that we can have Ligarius Sneed and Chris Jones back. Spagnolo told Mike Antonio of A to Z Sports on the God Bless Football podcast. I understand the NFL scenario. Sometimes it's tough to keep everyone due to the salary cap. Listen, I want all these guys to get paid. But from my perspective, obviously, I want them both here. Ultimately, it all boils down to whether a team can agree to the terms of a contract with Sneed, which includes the Chiefs, who may need to be innovative in adjusting their salary cap for 2024. Now I want to hear your opinion. Dear fan, go ahead and leave your comment below at this moment. It's very important. Don't forget to show your support, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any updates.